get beautiful. Hello and welcome to my first um, Tish thing. Hi, I'm Tish. Welcome to The Greasy Spoon. And in case you don't know how, today we're going to be talking about how to make tea. The first thing you're going to need to make your cup of tea is a cup. The second thing you're going to need to make your cup of tea is a kettle. As you can see, I'm looking like an angel today in my white top with my white walls and my white kettle. Kettles come in all shapes and sizes. This is a white kettle and it's quite large. You might not have a kettle available and you might need to heat your water some other way, but as long as it boils, it doesn't really matter how you heat it. You might need to make a fire or, um, I don't know, even ask a neighbor if you can just borrow some hot water. Oh, my phone. Someone liked my tweet. You have to plug in your kettle to a power source and then every kettle is different, but turn it on and when it's boiled it normally indicates to you that it's boiled by making a noise like that so once you've got your boiling water you are going to take your cup put your tea bag in the cup then what you need to do is just take the water from the hot kettle and pour it into the cup now this water is not hot because I haven't boiled a kettle because I'm not in my kitchen so you need to use your imagination. Mm. Here's the controversial part. Some people like to add the milk before the water. Some people like to add the water before the milk. I don't think it actually makes much of a difference. I'm sure there'll be some really controversial opinions about that. Either way, Whatever you decide to do, it's going to be fine. The next thing you'll need is a spoon. Look, they're spooning. A, te a teaspoon. That's why it's called a teaspoon, because it goes with tea. Someone else will have a controversial opinion about that. And then they thought, that's how a spoon hugs another spoon. This is one of those moments where you should try a party trick. Now, I don't know how anyone does it. I'm not going to bore you. Give it a little bit of help with its brewing process. Excuse me. Again, some people some people give a little digging action some people don't like to do any of that they just like to leave it it's all brewing at the end of the day now the last thing you can do is you can leave your tea bag in you can remove it depending on how strong you like your tea and then you can add milks lemons have it black add sugars add honeys lots of options it's totally up to you and how you like your tea I tend to add a bit of um, alternative milks. Now I'm not, I'm not endorsing this milk at all. I'm just, it's my milk, so I'm just holding it up in the video, and I just pour it in, and and I'll take my tea bag out. And that is how you make a cup of tea. Now I'm not going to drink this because it's cold and it looks like. I mean, I said I wasn't going to swell in these videos. I'm not going to drink this because it's cold and it looks like um, pond water. But I have to say, it smells lush. If you leave your spoon in your cup, it can kind of deter other people from drinking it because the spoons move all over the place and you don't really want to be like drinking with it knocking you in your nostrils all the time. And of course, if you're having something like green tea, then you don't want to be adding any milk into that because that's just a bit um, odd. I do like tea, but given the choice I think there are nicer drinks in the world given the choice I'd probably rather have a cup of coffee than a cup of tea which I probably shouldn't say on my own tutorial 
but this is about you, not about me. My name's Tish. I'm really happy that you've joined me today to talk about how to make a cup of tea. And I hope this tutorial will help you on your tea making journeys. Happy tea time. Winking's just creepy, I'm not gonna do it. Goodbye.